to part three of the uh, grid tide inverter with the limiter this is going to be the initial powered up we're going to be powering this in, um, inverter to see how the screen displays and all the good stuff right here from JW Solo USA please stay tuned for more to come from this channel okay YouTube before we do that we're gonna install the Wi-Fi um, communication to the I um, to the ports right here the RS232 is gonna be attached there and the solar panels wire is gonna be attached to the part negative positive and negative right sorry <laughs> my finger is not working <laughs> with the video the negative and the positive so you guys gonna see was the power this device can produce just with those um, three panels which is uh, two of the 50 watts and 120 of the uh, Kyocera wired in parallel for the 50 watt solar panels so that we can keep the voltage to uh, minimum so it can go over because they're all about 21 point something and 20 three or 22 point something so we can keep it below uh 60 volt all right so let's go ahead and connect it stay tuned subscribe like and share the rs232 is going to be connected here to the device and uh we screw this one to hold it firmly or properly and uh, all with this and it's gonna be attached to this here it's all attached now you guys can see it okay and now let's fire up the device and see there we go YouTube the device is already on it's really fast to uh, boot and um, well, let's, let's see here it says 119.7 volt uh, from my grid and it's really not 0, 0 0.0 volt as you guys can see this is the waveform right here on my grid <clears throat> and you guys can see it says grid tied waveform This screen here will tell you how much kilowatts you made for the day <clears throat> or by the hour as you go and um, I'll show you the next screen as you guys can see this is the time and date um, approximately it's an hour is the time is not right so um, let me correct this as you guys can see, I already programmed the uh, time, uh, the year, the month, and date. So, let's go back here. Ask if you want to save that. Save this. Well, this is the other screen where you can do a lot of stuff. Okay. You can let this uh, device reboot at a voltage of 245 um, volt. If we want the backlight to be on always, we can keep it that way. And from the option there, you can choose if it's an internal or external limiter. So which we have an external limiter. And the other side here is a power factor. You can be able to change um, uh, much the uh, for battery limiter if you want to use batteries, and it can be able to set it to cut off at a certain voltage, so it can drain your battery or, or ruin your batteries. All right. Okay. Let's try and 
test this device we can go through this on the other series of uh, the videos and make you guys really understand right now i'm just testing it it's not permanent thing yet before we're going to put it on the board all right subscribe like and share stay tuned okay now let's fire up the device and see so it's bringing uh 41.4 volt from the solar array and we are putting um it's 119.4 volts from the grid it's cloudy outside as you guys saw earlier and now we're inverting putting back power to the grid at 13.1 watts so folks this completes our installation our test here because this device is properly working panels are not angled just lay them flat and it's not any fancy test it's just a kind of flimsy test so you guys can see the device is working okay all right take care all right, folks, uh, just mind you, um, this device can uh, start inverting uh, the voltage. It started with a 22 volt to 60 volt, uh, 65 volt, but um, it's going to wake up at uh, 25, 25 volt on the modules, on the array. Then it's going to trigger that and start it inverting. So right now the panels are just I just lay them uh, on my on my deck. They're laying flat on my deck, so they are not angle or anything. Just to test and show you guys that uh, the device is working. Okay, and it's really really cloudy outside. I'll show you outside. These are the clouds right now. I'm telling you guys, there's no sun. It's just the uh, ambience of the uh, the clouds and they are not seeing on my deck they are not oh, they're, sorry they are not seeing on my uh, roof it's just uh, seeing on the deck just testing it on the deck um, laying them flat they are no angle nothing nothing so there they are just so you guys can see there's no light here nothing these things can able to pick up nothing from here so they're still making something the mppt is tracking it's working and just on the uh, on the deck you guys can see the deck so nothing fancy nothing just to test and there goes the fta is doing this thing with the new receiver everything seems to work perfectly well this will wrap up the part three of our install and uh stay tuned for part four which is going to be giving you more power coming out from this controller from JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share. If you haven't been a subscriber yet, try to be one. And we're bringing you more the latest and testing from this channel with the grid tight inverter and inbuilt Wi Fi. As you guys can see, the Wi Fi connection is on. And you see all the, the light is uh, glowing or illuminate from this. See that? So it's powered. So let's check the specs here. And I'll give you the latest with it. This is uh, this is the part three. The uh, limiter is not connected. Like I said, it's no fancy thing. It's not attached to the um, the, uh, the panel attached to the breaker panel this is just a sample for you guys to see a test and this is how the thing is working and it's still bringing power you saw how the the panels were just laying flat on my deck there and it's still making power so part four we bring you the uh, programming or see how the Wi-Fi is working the communication so that you can able to um, see the power production coming in from this uh, uh, inverter instead of you watching it 
uh, come just if the inverter is far away from you and instead of coming back to the power room or control room to watch was was the power you're producing and I'm just gonna go through the app or whatever the Wi-Fi is supposed to bring now. Okay? Alright, take care. Bye bye.